Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be putting together four um, Valentine's Day DIYs. And the first um, craft that I'm going to do is going to be to make a wreath. And what I'm showing you here is just the paint that I'm going to use to cover this uh, little love sign that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I think the name of that paint is a Christmas red. It actually is uh, a little bit darker than your traditional red. But I'm painting over this and I'm also covering the yeah, sides and edges just because whatever um, would be visible, um, I do want to have that covered. And I did end up going over and putting three coats of paint on that. Next, I'm just pulling the flowers off of the stem. Um, I had bought this the other day at the Dollar Tree. They're just the red magnolia. And then these um, little, I think, gypso flowers, cutting those apart so that I can use them as well. I like to have everything already cut apart and prepped before I start. That way I don't have to um, do that while I'm trying to put my project together. And all I'm doing here is I'm just doing a layout first to just kind of get an idea of how I want things positioned before I glue anything down. And that way if I want to rearrange anything, I can. But I'm just putting this on one side, going one direction, and then um, on the bottom half, I'm going the opposite direction. And um, what I do with the stems when I put those through is I just kind of tuck them under the back, anything that's sticking out. And then once I get in place where I want them to go, I am using my glue gun. And then I'm also just putting a little bit on the back where the stems went through so that um, that is secure as well. And then the last thing I do is just glue the flowers down. And I did want to bunch those up. Um, and my goal was to kind of make it look like one flower versus several, but it really, you know, doesn't matter if you've got one big flower you like to use, you can certainly do that. And then the last step is just to um, glue the little white pieces in sporadically so that it kind of gives them a little bit more of uh, color. Now I did cut the um, twine off the top of the um, sign. I just cut it in half. And I'm going to glue the sign down on both ends where I want it to go on my wreath. And then after I get that done, I am going to use the twine that was uh, part of the hanger. And I'm going to secure that around each side and tie a knot into that so that um, it just gives the sign extra security that it's not going to fall off or anything. And of course, I would do that on both sides. And this is um, what the wreath turned out looking like. It's very simple, but I thought very pretty. And, um, you know, you could use this for many different things, not just Valentine's Day, and could be left up year round. And the next project that I'm gonna do is actually very, very simple. Um, I basically um, just got this little tin mailbox from the Dollar Tree, and I took one of their glass candlesticks and spray painted it white. I put a couple coats on there. And I'm just taking my E6000 glue and putting it around the top. I, anytime I want to glue something that I want to stay permanently, I use E6000 glue. It is the best. And I'm just centering that on there. And um, now that I've got that done, I decided that I wanted to decorate the little flag. So I just took a Dollar Tree stickers and I put the little stickers on the flag on both sides. And then I also put some on the inside of the flap um, so that it could have some decor as well. But this was very, very simple, very easy, but um, you know, very, very cute. And I just put some uh, little items that I had poking out of the mailbox so that it looks like there's some treats in there. Um, but you can also use that for treats if you want to, um, to surprise little ones or um, you know, just to give as a gift. The next project that I'm going to do is to make a Valentine garland. And I picked um, these up at the Dollar Tree because all of these um, items are Dollar Tree DIYs. But I just took them apart and they're very easy to do. They're basically just taped together. And then I flipped them over and I got some big paper clips. Um, you could certainly use small ones as well, whatever you have on hand. I picked all pink, but the color really doesn't matter because they're not going to be seen. But I did um, decide to hot glue it, two paper clips down per heart, um, one on each side. And you could do one just in the center, but I think it just gives the um, hearts a little bit more um, security if you put one on each side. 
that way you don't have uh, anything lopsided or any you know um, tilting or anything like that so once I get those done I just thread the string through each one of the paper clips and I'm going to show you how I do that up close as well so that you can see that I'm just lifting it up and then just sliding the string underneath there and because these fit very snug to each one of the hearts they will not slide around back and forth on your twine you can slide them through but once you actually get them hung up they should stay in place pretty well I did put that on my uh, fireplace mantle um, hanging down below that I thought it looked really pretty of course you could add some little embellishments to it if you wanted to put some little bows in between them or something I really love how these sparkle and, and I just think that they add the perfect touch to my Valentine decorations. Now this last project, um, I bought this mirror from the Dollar Tree and this ended up being a whole lot more difficult than I had thought it was going to be. Um, if you have the time and you want to take the time to do this, you can certainly do it the way I did, but getting this mirror out was um, very difficult. It wasn't, so, I thought the back would just come off and that I could just pop the mirror out. But that plastic piece um, was a one whole entire piece. And so I practically had to break the mirror to get it out and then I had to use an X-Acto knife to cut the middle out and then I had to file it down for the rough edges. Um, I just liked the way this looked. I really wanted um, to have this um, particular piece because I felt like it had a rustic antique type look to it but if you can get a picture frame that you like I would suggest doing that because it's so much easier but basically all I did was just um, paint that um, and I did put three coats of white paint on it and then um, I got these little foam hearts and I just took the stems out of them put a little bit of um, red marker in the bottom where the stick came out and then I hot glued a little silver um, wire type string that I had on hand to each one of them. And then I um, put them inside of it just to kind of center it to see where I wanted these little hearts to hang. And um, once I got that done, then I did flip that over and hot glue each one of those down. Now you could use um, this, I used the two bigger hearts, but you could use like three small hearts. You could put um, different things in there. You probably could even leave the mirror on it if you wanted to, um, or you know, put a, a, another kind of background behind it, um, whatever you want to do. But um, this particular project is made, I think, more to be hung on a wall, um, because if you put this on a stand or something like that, it's just not going to have the display. But I thought it turned out absolutely gorgeous. And then the last thing I did was kind of similar to it, but a whole lot simpler. Um, I just took a picture frame from the Dollar Tree. I really love these. They come in gold and silver and um, square and round, or oval. And I just uh, took out the glass, found me a really pretty piece of paper that I wanted to use as my background and trimmed around that. And the paper that I actually found was a cover on a paper pack. Um, it just happened to work out really good, I thought. The black looked really good up against red, and that is what uh, the color of heart that I'm going to be using. So I just put that in there like I would a picture, uh, put everything, the back and back on it. And then I take the little red heart that I've got and just basically hot glue it to the center, and that's about it. And um, I thought that one turned out really pretty, really elegant. The picture frame in itself is just gorgeous as it is. I mean, even having a pair of these to set up would be gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed watching these DIYs and thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I will see you in my next video. Bye!